Beardo Benjo. Hello, hello there. Well, welcome to the video. <laughs> you really can tell that I grew up during a certain era of the internet, considering I saw this on the David Firth merch store and had to buy it immediately. I was putting in my car details before I knew what was really happening. And then before I know it, a little salad fingers turned up at my door and now he's mine and he can sit here and watch me work, which you know, isn't creepy or terrifying at all in the slightest. Hello. I'm not here today to talk to you about salad fingers. I'm here today because it's a Thursday and Thursdays are typically the new release day for quest games. Today is no exception. Today sees the release of the new snowboarding VR game, Carve, and that's what I'm gonna be checking out today. Now, I'm excited to see VR starting to go in this direction. I've said this before in multiple of my videos. I like that we're starting to branch out into extreme sports and different styles of puzzle game, and we're really starting to explore what VR can do. We're not tying everything to shooting and chopping zombies up. They're both great, but it's nice to try different things. Now, Carve isn't the first snowboarding game in VR. We do already have Powder, and we do already have Descent Alps, both that offer snowboarding, skiing, downhill, extreme sports, fun within VR. The difference with Carve and the trump card up its sleeve is the fact that one of the creators of Carve actually was a creator of 1080 snowboarding on the N64. Now, I grew up with the N64, um, I've always gravitated towards Nintendo consoles, I'm a big Nintendo fan, and I have really fond memories of that game. I will however say it wasn't my favourite snowboarding game on the N64, that award goes to Snowboard Kids, which was simultaneously awesome and terrible all at the same time. Don't really know how, haven't revisited it. I'm excited to check this out today, it looks fantastic for a quest game, it does look very sharp, it seems to have a great sense of speed when you're rushing down those mountains. And let's just dive in. I'll talk about the graphics, I'll talk about how it performs, the controls, all that kind of stuff. And I'll show you some gameplay captured on the Quest 2. This is available now, Carve, for the Quest, VR snowboarding. Let's jump in. Let's go, Salad Fingers. He's terrifying, isn't he? Look at him. Oh, there's his eyes, his boggly, boggly eyes. Hello there, everyone, and welcome to Carve Snowboarding, and also, welcome to my lovely little log cabin. Look how cosy this place is, and genuinely, how nice it looks on the quest. Really, really sharp visuals in here. It's got quite a soft, cartoony, almost aesthetic, but it's, it looks great. Now, if you don't know much about Carve, it's a fairly simple game to explain. It's snowboarding. If you've played anything like Amped or SSX, without the crazy tricks where you're like doing 360s and spinning around on your head, um, or 1080, of course, or Snowboard Kids, if you've played any snowboarding game before, you're going to know what this is here. Now, it's quite an arcadey experience, but there's a lot to dig into here. This cabin is your hub area within the game. This is where you come between runs to kind of chill out, play around, and just kick back. Now, Objects in here are interactive, so I can go up to this cup. You walk really slowly in this game, by the way. I can walk up to this cup and grab it and pretend to drink a big old cup of cocoa. Or you've got something that I really like, which I haven't seen in the VR game before. If you press the right stick forward, you can push your hand out. So you see that kind of hologram hand. I can move over there, grab, bring it back. So it's kind of like... Being able to interact with things if you don't have a huge amount of space or your play space isn't particularly big, I think it's great. So without having to move around your room or reach out for things, you can just ping your hand forward, grab this lava lamp, bring it back, spin it all over the place because no one likes lava lamps, and then just, just, oh no, throw it in there, get out of there. There we go. Actually, let's burn it. Let's burn it. Let's put it in the fire. They're outdated. There we go. Put that in there. Put some more logs in the fire. See you later. You, you're just... You're cheesy and you... I'm so sorry if you've got lava lamps out there and you like them. I think they're so weird. Um, okay, so... It's come back! Ridiculous. So yeah, you can play around in this area and just kind of interact with objects. There's this cool little gun in here as well, which is exciting. It shoots ping-pongs. Ping-pongs? Ping-pong balls. What's a ping-pongs? So I can just like fire. It doesn't really serve much of a purpose. You can just aim at stuff like I'm going to hit that pot. Or I'm going to hit the lava lamp because I'm just picking on the lava lamp now. Oh yeah, come on. There we go. 
it's just a nice little area to muck around in. I think most VR games have this kind of hub world that you can just come in, kick back, play with the physics, figure out how things work. Um, and this is a particularly good one. Now, there's also a dog. Hello there. Hello there, dog. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah, you're a happy, friendly dog, which you can pet. And, you know, people like to pet dogs because dogs are wonderful. So that's a plus. That, you know, that marks the game up by a couple of stars immediately. There's a dog you can pet. So this is getting five out of five on the Oculus Store. Um, you can also come over to this door. This is, door's a bit creepy. And there's like a strange stoner person that lives in here. You find me one person that actually likes candy corn and I'll find you a school of flying pigs, man. And he'll talk to you every time you come up to the door. Whoa, cool. It's just weird. Um, you can also check out your custom playlists for the uh, runs that you're going to do. You can pick songs you like and build a playlist, or you can just run with the tape. So I've got electronic tracks, chill wave, and road trip so far. You can come into here and listen to some of the tracks. Very chilled out stuff. It all feels very apt to the kind of relaxing nature that the game is kind of going for. Yeah, very laid back. But sometimes when you're going down the slopes, it does get very fast, does get very very frantic, so some of those more chilled out songs might not be to your style. Um, over here, you can change your gloves. So currently, I just have the these ones that I really like, the black and pink ones. Um, I, I like them, actually. Now, I did unlock these. Um, I, can gr I can grab these, inspect them, Oy. or I can just put them on. I think I prefer my black and pink ones. Come here. There we go. Black and pink ones are good. Um, and then you can come and check out your boards that you've unlocked as well. Okay, so right now I'm using this Lucky Cat one. I think that's pretty much the best all-rounder to start with. Um, good for hard snow, soft snow, freestyle landing. Handling isn't great. Um, I did unlock this one as well with a little kind of... Yeah, that's actually much better. Let's equip that one with the yetis on it. This is where the bulk of the game lies. When you're in the cabin and you've finished selecting your board and you've selected your gloves and you're ready to go, you come over to this board and you can select the run that you're about to embark upon. Now, there are six courses in the game, I believe, to start with. So, valley, forest, rock caves, ice caves, descent, and tempest. And each level is split into several medals that you can unlock whilst attempting runs. Now you've got time attack medals, so finishing in a specific time, so 2 minutes 40, 220, 210, 150. And you've got freestyle medals, so do a grind for 10 meters, uh, do a front side 360, get 18,000 points, get 32,000 points. So much like something like Tony Hawk, um, or even, yeah, Amped or SSX, you've got a reason to replay these levels to try and accomplish these tasks and unlock new levels. Currently I just have this one level so I need to come in here to play. Let's show you what the game's like to actually play because this little place is cool but you know we got to do some snowboarding. Okay you can't actually really shoot the dog, it goes through the dog so that's that's good news for people who like dogs. I do like dogs and I don't want to shoot the dog. Alright let's go into the valley course. Um, I want to try and get some, I want to try and get some of these freestyle medals. I want, I want to do a grind for 10 meters, let's do that. Alright, welcome to the mountain. You can probably hear some wolves. They're howling over there. They're out for my blood. They want to kill me. I don't know why. I've done nothing to wrong them. But they are... They're howling away. They're, they're making me very unsettled. Now, of course, mucking around in the cabin is fun, but this is what we're really here for, the snowboarding portion of the game. This is where the meat on the bones really is. So, once you load into one of the courses, you can pick your board again. So, if you didn't pick the board that you actually like back in the cabin, You've got a second option here. Now I'm going to stick with this weird little Yeti bean board. That's the one I want. And then we're pretty much ready to go. Now there's two stances in the game. There's goofy and regular. Now regular for me would be left hand forward, right hand back. That's regular. Now goofy for me, or goofy for everyone, is right hand forward, left hand back. So you pick the stance which feels natural to you. I'm going to go with regular. And then when you're ready, you hit the trigger. Hit the trigger again. And we're snowboarding. It really is that simple. Now, you control the snowboard based on where your hands are pointing, so you'll see if I move my hands like this, it moves the snowboard. So they're all connected. To jump, you literally just lift your hands up, and I can do a little grind. Oh, that was a nice grind. And that's kind of how simple it is. Now you can mix up your runs with grabs and spins as well. Grabs are executed by using the grab button, so I'll do one now. There we go. Oh, come on, don't hit the rock. 
Ah, that's fine. I still did a little grab there. Now the grabs are dependent on where your hands are situated in terms, um, in relation to the board itself. So you'll see a little green board on the left-hand side on the HUD. Now, dependent on where your hands are, is where you'll grab the board. So I did some kind of stale fish then. That was great. Um, <laughs> when you achieve things, they pop up out of the ground like that. It reminds me a lot of Amped. It's got a really cool style to it. Oh, grind, 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 grind. Look at that. Very nice. Ooh, oh, I've crashed. I've ended up in some snow. I can't see anything at all. Now, the one thing this game doesn't have, which Powder did have, is like a bail cam. So when you crash out in this game, um, you either bounce off of the terrain or you get your vision covered in snow for a little bit. Oh, there's an unlockable there. Hell yeah, new tape. Uh, there's also unlockables, hidden items on each course that you can come and find. So that was just a new tape, so a new mixtape of music that I can listen to while I'm going down the slopes. And there's also new boards and all kinds of things you need to keep an eye out for. Now you can play this as just a just a kind of a speed run, a, a time trial, and you can just see how fast you can get down the mountain, or you can go for tricks. Oh, come on, what is that, new gloves? Oh, I missed them. So right now I'm going quite fast. It might not look it on the capture, but it definitely feels it for me. Now, outside of grinding and grabbing, you can also do spins. So I'll wait for a jump. I should be able to do a little jump here. Spins are executed by holding the trigger and bringing your hand across your body, so... Oh, that was accidentally really cool. I just like did a spin onto a grind. Ah, oh, I'm a snowboarder. Oh, backside 180. There we go. It's <laughs> it's a lot of fun and it's very chill. Please excuse the pun there. It is very relaxing. Ooh. That was a terrible score. Uh, <laughs> It's definitely not going down in any history books. 1,100 points. Okay. What's that? Is that a new board that I unlocked? Very cool. Oh, got a new tape as well. So I unlocked a new board and a new tape. Now I did complete some objectives there. I did a 10 meter grind and I did do a front side 360. So those two medals have been ticked off. I got nowhere near 18,000 points and nowhere near 32,000 points. Let's go back to the cabin. There we go, back in the cabin, back in the warmth, no more snow, no more chilliness. Now, that was a very quick run of the first level, um, and from doing that I was able to unlock two medals. I got the grind and the frontside 360. Now there's a lot of reason to keep going back. Now I think I can probably go for one of these time attack medals. I'm going to try that next, I think. Just bomb it down the mountain as quick as I can. Don't worry about tricks, don't worry about grabs, don't worry about anything. Effectively, what I just showed you is the basics of the game. So, you've got your stance, you control the position of the board using your arms, you jump by lifting your hands, you grab by using the grip buttons underneath and moving your hands to different positions on the board, and you spin by holding trigger and moving a hand across your body, and that will spin the board. It's really simplistic. It's They've nailed the controls in terms of just making it easy for anybody to jump in and play, um, and it feels quite arcadey. But then I guess 1080 felt very arcadey as well. Um, and I know I've re referenced Amped a few times, but Amped had a very kind of wacky style. Um, you know, big words coming out of the ground, very off the wall, very offbeat. And this feels like it's got a little bit of that as well. Right, so I'm going for pure speed this time. Just the quickest way down the mountain. No crashing, just straight down, no issues. Grinding might make me go faster, though. What do we reckon? Nice. Grind to me. Just a cheeky little grind. Nothing nothing major. Oh, no. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. <gasps> no, I said don't crash. Oh, you absolute... Okay. All right. We'll just we'll ignore it. We'll just we'll keep going. We'll just keep going. We'll keep doing some snowboarding. Speed, speed, speed. I'm like Keanu Reeves, but we can't let this snowboard slow down below a certain speed. Can't drop between f below 40 kilometers per hour. Can't 44. We can do this. Do it for Keanu. Do it for Sandra. Whoa. Ice, ice, ice. How are you supposed to do this in 2 minutes 20? How are you even supposed to do it in 2 minutes 40? Am I on a slow board? Oh no, there's no way I'm doing it. Terrible. 
<laughs> Brilliant. I crashed again. I'm just garbage at this game, really. Come on. Oh, I missed all the ch oh, I missed all the scores. I couldn't even get there in 2 minutes 40. That's just sad, isn't it? Don't patronize me, game. Don't show me the scores. I know I'm slow. Leave me alone. All right, I want to be the very best like no one ever was. Let's just get down this mountain as quickly as possible. Surely I can get down there. Get at least one medal. I believe in me, right? You believe in me, right? Motivational. Let's do this. Just be one with the mountain. Be one with the snow. Slalom. That's it. Nice. Very chill. To be honest, with the right music on, like right now, this is very chill. Oh, uh, he says, crashing into a wall. Um, it is, though, very chill. Uh, yeah, I like it. I'm not good at it. But I like it. I just want to get one medal from a time trial. Come on, come on. Oh, this is great. I think for me, I'm very like, in tune with when music and gameplay like line up. And right now, this is really lined up nicely. Ooh. Let's go. Kind of a nice evening snowboard. Oh, God, it went right through my face. I've got a good feeling about this one. I'm going to smash these times. I'm going to do a trick here, though. I'm going to push my luck. Watch this. No, I'm not going to hit a rock. Brilliant. You know, shouldn't even talk about pushing my luck because that just ends my luck. God, that's just a tight little thing to navigate through. Oh, no. It's all gone to pot. Please, I just want a medal. One medal. Please. Please. No. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this game? Round, round, round. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh, no. Come on, I can get one medal. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Yes. I got a singular medal. Just one for doing it in two minutes and 30. That's nothing I should really be celebrating about. That's not that great. I'm so bad at this game. I'm awful at this. All right, going for big points now. I'm going to get crazy points. This is going to be mental. Got my cool music on. Right, I'm going to start with a nice little grind. Ready for this? Look at that. Nice little grind. Yeah, very cool. Right, so you have got combos, if you can keep stuff going. There we go. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Tindy, 2.5, 2.5, right, grind, grind, grind. Oh, did I get it? No, I don't think I did. That counted, that counted, surely. No, I didn't count. All right, gotta get a grind, we gotta get a grind, we gotta get something. Ah, no. Oh, I've lost my combo. Oh, what a shame. That was going really well. And then I crashed into a tree, you know. Story of my life. Story of my life. Here we go. Nice grind with a grab. Let's do this. I really like this game. I think it's very chill. I'm not very good at it at all. I wish I could have showcased a little bit more technical prowess and done a kind of a run that was really impressive or got some good points or chained together some good tricks. But, that was good. Um, but yeah, it's taken me a little bit to kind of get to grips with it. And that's quite nice. That's a level of depth I didn't expect. I thought I'd jump in and I would just be able to win. And that isn't the case. And uh, I like that about it. Every grab you do isn't necessarily a grab. So I just grabbed the board with both my hands then at the front and it didn't give me any points. It wasn't actually a trick. So you've kind of got to learn the tricks and learn where the grabs should be placed. Ooh, going up. Ah, fine. 
yeah, I really like this. It's very relaxing. When the music and the gameplay really link up, it's a great time to just kind of coast down the mountain. Whether you're going for score or time, it's really enjoyable. Um, I can see people really getting into this. If you played Descent Alps, or you played, or you played Powder, or you're a snowboarder yourself and you're looking for an extreme sports game on the Quest, I think this is going to be worth checking out. Don't expect to be good at it straight away. It takes a hot minute to kind of really get to grips with the controls. Oh, oh, six thousand points. Oh no, that's my total score. I thought I just got 6,000 points for one trick. That would have been amazing. Um, there's plenty here to return for. Hello? Hello? Where am I? <laughs> Where's my board? <laughs> there's plenty of reason here to keep coming back for more. Um, whether it's to collect all the items on the mountain, to go for the best scores, um, or just to unwind after a long day. Just shoot down the mountain with a, a song playing that you particularly like. Oh, I like this one that's playing now. I think it really works with the vibe of the game. It's got a nice visual style, it's running very smoothly, very quickly in the Quest 2. I've got no complaints. It's good fun. It, it might not be for everyone. It's quite hard to control at first, but the more you play, the more you get used to it. And you do... Oh, I tried to jump that rock, that did not pay off. You do need to make quite big hand movements. The game's not going to pick it up if you're making kind of small minutia, small tiny adjustments. You need to do big, bold hand movements to kind of move around the corners. I like it, and there's a lot to like here. Um, great soundtrack. There's some really weird stuff in here, but songs like this really fit the atmosphere of the snowboarding. I'm kind of just, just coasting down. It's just really relaxing. I like it, and I think it will appeal to a lot of people. I think you can really tell that one of, uh, I think it's just one, one of the creative minds behind 1080 is here working on this product. Um, and it's good to see games coming out for the Quest and for VR in general that aren't just shooters or hack and slash games or dungeon crawling roguelikes, which I absolutely love. There's a lot of them. So, yeah, I like it. I think, I think it's got something going for it. I don't think, I say, I don't think it will be for everyone, but I think it's worth checking out. I wish I knew the price of it. I haven't actually seen how much they're marking this up for. Ultimately, you can really see that a lot of love and care has gone into making this game. Things like the visuals on the gloves, the visuals in the cabin. The visuals in general are really, really nice. It's calming to play. For me, I don't think I'd push myself to really go for the objectives that much, which is going to be a problem because I won't unlock the other levels unless I get them. But for me, this is the kind of thing I would chuck on. Here's the music just to kind of coast down the mountain, just to kick back, coast down the mountain, and just relax, unwind after a long day. Um, yeah, I like that. I've always had an affinity for snowboarding games, um, and I think this is another one that I'm really going to enjoy sinking some time into it. I'm not very good at it. These medals are no joke. I'm really struggling to get some of these score ones, and the time attacks aren't, aren't easy to get either. And to unlock more levels, you've got to get those medals. So. Content wise, one, two, three, four, five, six levels, but you're not going to unlock them quickly. You're going to have to train yourself to be able to pick these medals up, so it could take a while. I really like it. This is Carve, snowboarding game, out today for the Quest and Quest 2. If you're a fan of 1080, Amped, SSX, Snowboard Kids, any snowboarding game, Descent Alps, Powder, come check it out. I'm really enjoying it, and I think. It's clear that the people involved really care about snowboarding and the feeling of snowboarding. I hope you've enjoyed, guys. I'm going to kick back in here a little bit more and practice because I'm garbage and I need to get better and unlock some of these medals. Come check this out. This is Carve. It's out today for the Quest and Quest 2. And I'll see you soon for another one. Take care of yourselves, guys. See you later.